This is his original car, Frank Lloyd Wright's car. It's only here six more weeks. Buffalo knows Jim and Mary Ann Sandoro as founders of the Buffalo Transportation Pierce Arrow Museum with the Frank Lloyd Wright filling station, already a gem in the Queen City. And go all the way down to the light at Chicago Street at Chef's. But did you know they have purchased two blocks of buildings with plans to create the largest automobile museum in the world? on Seneca Street from Michigan Avenue all the way to Chicago Street. All when way. this is all done, <coughs> how many square feet? Over 300,000 square feet. And that puts us one of the biggest in the world. They'll stock the museum with a quarter of a million artifacts now piled in more than a dozen warehouses around Buffalo, like this one. And it's amazing to walk through these warehouses because everywhere you turn, there's a piece of history. We have quite a few lamps there. You can. Look up there. Those are all early lamps, pre pre 1920 automobile lamps. It's the earliest known race car poster in the country, from 1904 Massachusetts Automobile Club, Reedville, Mass, Massachusetts. And this is the original. That's the original. Yes, it is. Things from American Airlines. There's steering wheel collection. We collect steering wheel. It's original artwork. Those are Lionel race cars. They actually had a track from 1911. This is really cool, it's a jolt meter. And a jolt meter, you would, if you wanted to take a car out and show somebody as a salesman how good the shocks were, you put the joint, uh, jolt meter on the seat. Not everything here is related to automobiles. This dog, for example, part of an advertisement from the 1880s. But much is related to Buffalo's past. The Sandoros are on a mission to preserve Queen City history, a gift to current and future generations. We've been married over 45 years, and it's just something we both love to save Buffalo history and, uh, and leave it to Buffalo. I worked at the Historical Society for nine years, too, a long time ago. So that was the basis for all of the interest. They've collected a coat rack from the Art Deco restaurant in Buffalo's Old Central Terminal. There are jugs from the earliest days of the whiskey trade in Buffalo. And a bronze sign from a longtime Buffalo retailer. Mr. Kent went down on the Titanic. Where do all these treasures come from? They come to us through donations. They come to us through purchase. They come to us just people give us things. And people give them things because they know these bits of Buffalo's past will have a future with the Sandoros. It's going to stay as one collection. Long after we're gone, it's going to be here for everyone. It'll belong to everyone. As Jim says, you can't take it with you. So uh, we've accumulated things that make people pay attention to what happened in Buffalo. The Sandoros estimate their museum will be complete in about five years, and this collection will stand as testament to their love of Buffalo. Yes, it is, and but we don't want accolades, we just want more stuff. We want people to realize, don't throw it out. Get it to us, we'll take care of it.